I wanted to give a brief example of this little utility I wrote called MCU Mux. The MCU Manager protocol communicates over a serial port with a device, and this is fairly useful. Um, just as an example, I can connect to a Zephyr device on the left, and if I reset it, we see that it outputs messages. And I can often get away with using the MCU manager this way. If I use the right device. And this usually works, but it only really works because we're kind of getting lucky. Um, both the terminal emulator program and the MCU manager itself are trying to read from the serial port to get messages. Uh, the reason it works is most of the time these serial utilities, like Picocom in my case, Minicom, they do a select or a poll on the device first to see if data is available, whereas MCU Manager just does a direct read, which will immediately return with the payload. Um, it often works um, if the system is loaded, there can be scenarios where it will miss packets. And so I thought it would be a better idea to write a different utility that kind of demuxes this for us. Um, it's a little tool written um, in Go to go with the rest of the MCU manager. Um, it's really easy to use. You build it, you run it here, and it tells you a TTY that the MCU manager protocol should then be asked to communicate with. You can then add this as a port. So this is a PTY, well, that's the name of the connection, which it thinks is a serial port connected to dev PTS8. And then if I do a command to my PTY device, this gets its echo reply back. I still have a debug message in here printing the packet. But as you can see, these idle messages, even the, the reset command and the messages that it prints are still getting through. And both of these worked out. I haven't implemented being able to type here, so the interactive shell isn't usable yet. But as I thought was a good proof of concept, um, this will also be quite useful for something like um, a demultiplexer for testing. And in that scenario, this could also be used as a demultiplexer for testing, where the both of the streams of data, the standard out would go to one part of the test, and the MCU manager command could still be run. The demuxer would understand how to give all of this data to the various parts of the test.